Now that YouTube, I've had a bev. I feel a bit better. Calmed a bit down from yesterday's episode. Um, Pozo is coming in. As is Phillips. Davis and Shelby's accumulated too many yellers. So he is also unavailable. <coughs> Right, so they're the two changes. I mean, to be fair, again, I should change the whole team because of how they played last episode and the scripting and bullshit, but again, even the game's fucking lagging. Look, uh, just this, uh, will it come up and show me the stamina? Look, look, look! Doesn't even show me the fucking numbers. It's so fucking glitch filled. Right, Bernie, you've been better lately. Moose, you runs in attack last game. Brewster and Hackford. Hackford's not even a fuck. Of course he's not. I'm going to give Hackford a go. I'm going to give Comp to go. Youth in at the back. To be fair, the back's not been the problem. Bogle was wank last episode. Bringing in Bordock. I put Bozo. B Bozo. Uh, Pozo. Berger was solid. Um, I like Slater. Going to give him a go. Uh, Osborne was okay, to be fair. On the bench, we'll have Stevens, Robinson. Bogle, Fleck, Norwood, and we'll have McBurney, but <coughs> something different. We've got the pace of Hackford and Brewster up front, uh, so if we need a change in tactic, we've got the height of McBurney, and that's about it really, McBurney. Sad. Brewster, let's just fucking win this game, because I'm fed up of this. We're fourth. Blackburn are sick. We're dropping down the table. Things are not looking good. I'll be honest. And I can't see where I'm getting a result from. But we shall just have to try our very best. It's Hamburger. Let's just get running straight down that wing. Great start. Problem is... Well, thanks, Derek. The best Pro I've under, you see, the problem is, every team's play. playing well against me. My team the are the being slow and sluggish because the EA are uh, just making me players do stupid shit. Ability. There's Why nothing I can do. There's no more I can do until wait until this. As, as um, Sean Simon Pegg famously says, go into the Winchester and wait for all this scripting and bullshit to blow over. Because I will come out of a phase, and there will be a phase where everyone... Oh, really good save from Robin Olsen. There will be a phase where everyone's getting fed up and saying, oh, for fuck's sake, Kingram, you're winning all the time. It's boring. You're playing too well. And it came to that in the last season of the Derby County career mode, where just basically everything I touch turned to goals. But now everything I touch turns to the opposition... Uh, player because the everything I touch is the worst touch ever. <laughs> so we'll see how we do. Ben Osborne, see that's the sort of thing that I wouldn't use. Use I put a ball in, but there I've ran out of confidence in the lack of attacking runs in my players. So I've decided to fucking just cut in and belt one. See if we can score a screamer. Because I don't trust in my key, uh, my players my, ta my players attacking runs there was an example in the last episode where Lee Smousse was running he was timing his run I thought I'm not going to pass it because I don't trust him not to go offside Nat Phillips there has been absolutely turned good save from Robin Olsen Brewster Slater just fucking get it down look their players all turning on a well, fucking sixpence. And my player, look, just touching. Whichever way I touch. Oh, fuck, look! <sighs> look at it. Everything my players do, the touch is awful. The touch is showing that there. Played like Prime Parcelo, and then Ben Brereton. Like, it's just fucking like a Gerard Bullet. That like, there, look. Just knows exactly where to be. They're in the exact right place at the exact right moments all the time. It's just. That's just what scripting is, though, isn't it? There, that's probably the first time in a while that I've actually kept possession. Hamburger! What? 1-0! We're ahead! Ah! Uh, very good. 
lovely move, lovely ball out, and then Ben Oswald's ball's perfect. Hamburger's running in, gets a crisp, crisp volley on it. Sander Hamburger with a right-footed volley into the top right corner, and the crowd go wild, and that is Sander Hamburger with his third goal in 27 matches, and every single one of his goals is a special and exciting one. Lewis Travis and he's got the beating of his opponent well, hey. of look, see what I mean though look even though I, I got that goal there look at how they played look at that shot fortunately Robin Olsen's been absolutely sublime in this patch of bullshit scripted form Robin Olsen has been our one true saviour he's had really bad patches this season but this scripted patch that we can't do it right Fortunately, Robin Olsen can, and we'd be getting battered in games if it wasn't for him. There he is again. Easy save, but strong command in his area. And there we are, look. It's Pozo. Hamburger. Really good run there from Bulldog. Really good run there from Brewster. Oh, see there. You dad just shoot, have the confidence, but I've lost all confidence. I just expected the keeper to save that. Oh dear. And he's in. And can they prize them open now? Could be threatening. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Take a free kick. <laughs> Take it a free kick. We're slowing this game down a little bit. A warning for Ben Brereton and Diaz. Just catch him after I play the ball. Nice little quick pass there, to be fair, from Ben Osborne. Pozo, Just overdoing it. slightly over here, Ben Osborne press it, force him, into a, force him into a huge mistake, 2-0, oh, oh my god Ben, so Rian Brewster sorry, so. is a useless cunt, because that fire? is inexcusable, I just pressed B, I didn't put loads of power into it, I just thought you know he'd at least hit it on target, but he couldn't even do that. That is just how my team's been having it at the moment. Out of luck! Look at me! 2-0! And it's Sander Hamburger, who is at... My voice is fucked, but he has bailed us well and truly out of this shit. Hamburger. Hamburger. First one was a lovely volley. Second one was a curler from 20 yards out. Off the inside of the post. And that's his fourth of the season. And it's his second of the game. And it's a fucking 45th minute bullshit goal for once in our favour. Now blow that half-time whistle. We're two up. This is it. Come on. This is the game that changes my bullshit form around. I've had bullshit form in the past five or six, seven games. I've had one win out of about five or six. But we're playing well. We're playing better. And we're fucking winning. 2-0, this is it, this is it, come on, don't let them be bullshit, don't let them come back when they have absolutely no right to, oh, well done, oh, well done again, Pozo, Hamburger, oh, there he is, look, it's Brewster, oh, that's poor, come on, yes, <laughs> Basham 2, George Bulldog, and here's Sander Hamburger, who's been absolutely vital today. Playing that slightly different role. He's playing on the right of midfield instead of in the centre. Hackford, absolutely decked. I was going to turn and hit that with Hamburger there, but I was, to be fair, rather good defending. Go on, bash him. Go on, us, but fucking... Oh, it's Kildu. Slater. Pozo. It's poor from Pozo. Hamburger. Can they get in behind them? Bulldog. Ha ha! Oh my word! To get it away absolutely insane. Should be a red card to be fair. He's absolutely took me head off. Uh, but you know, yeah, it's not. It's a good defending. Well done, Johnny. That's a vital touch. Pozo's been played by Hamburger. Hackford with a lovely turn and ball to Osborne. Osborne plays it in. Hamburger was there, but not quite on it. Hackford. Oh, 
better though. It is better. Oh my word. What's Phillips doing? John Egan comes over and Phillips goes into the middle. That's really well defended. Robin Olsen, come and pick that up. Let's get some subs on. The team's tired as well. It's good to see. Last game, they feel like they didn't run. They didn't do nothing right. They didn't do anything of the sorts. What I wanted them to change at fullback. And we're going to bring off Hamburger. Yeah, he deserves his chance. No. We're going to bring off Brewster and bring on Ollie McBurney. Because that miss he had in the first half was unexcusable. Olsen, Pozo, Hamburger. Here's Brewster. Brewster to Osborne. Osborne to Bulldog, and that'll be a corner. 69th minute E. And we're going to get triple subs on. All hail Lord Hamburger, who's come over to take this corner. Ollie McBurney. Not quite. Hackford wins it. Egan. Pozo. It's a very good strike from Pozo, and a very good save. Hamburger, like I say, Lord Hamburger. All bow down to the Hamburger. Oh, that's what we resort in the opposition to. Robin Olsen, is not Phillips. Let's have a clean sheet. Fuck me. Fuck me. It's a really good bit of play. It's Slater. Well, it was really good play until the shot. Fuck you now. That was shocking from Slater. He's such a good player, though, that Slater, to be fair. We are going to have to change the midfield, though, to a slightly better one um, for the Premier League. Obviously, we've got Shelby, Norwood, Fleck, and whatever, who will do for the first season. But Pozo, uh, Broadbent, and Slater are not Premier League quality. They're not really championship quality. But in depth, they're a decent youngster that will do for this season to avoid injuries. Bradley Dack. At least I know neither of them are on loan, sort of thing. Horahan and Mung is why in the end are always going to go back. It would just be nice if they could have stayed with us till the end of the season. Hamburger, Pozo, Hackford. Oh, it's a clever idea. I've got that bit more confidence and belief in my team again. The, the runs they're making is a little bit better. And this game, hero Hamburger. Hamburger the hero. What a guy. There's single-handedly got us and that as well as not single-handedly because the defense has been sublime robin olsen's been fucking insane as always hamburger and it's just poor that there's always them fucking little bits of bullshit creeping into the game but that just happens in a day-to-day -day game there's not as much bullshit here and my team has done me proud <sighs> Must be ref for a second there. Fucking I'm panic attacks on the FIFA, look. I'll sue them. Come on. Keepers. Well done. Foul. All day. He's running. Lovely touch. Here's Slater, who's absolutely knackered. Slater, good strike. McBurney! Well done. 3-0, three, three points, get in. Nothing else to say. Re really good little touch, and then Slater just hit as hard as he could. And Ollie McBurney with a really good header. Get in. 3-0. That's what we needed. We desperately needed that. Black... Oh, my God. Uh, it's nice. Right. We'd fucking earned that so much. So happy. So proud of my team. Thank you so much for watching the first win. What feels like in fucking forever. I know we got a win against, uh, what do you call it? Huddersfield a few episodes ago. It didn't feel like a win. We're back up to third. We're two points off top. But we've got Millwall away. Come on, another three points here. Thank you very much, and I shall see you next episode for that. Take care. Bye-bye.